get started. For those of you that are new, I'm Robin with Robin's Wreath Three. We're going to be doing a Christmas wreath today. And I'm loving this flocked wreath. This one came from Walmart. And I shook it out outside and not a whole lot came off. So I'm impressed with how well the flocking is staying on. Hi, Missy. Great job on that ornament yesterday. I love it. And I went looking for striped fabric today, dear, and I couldn't find any. So I might keep looking. All right, this is, looks like a 20 inch wreath base. Can y'all hear okay? Sounds not squelchy or whatever. I guess we're good. All right. I need those. Going to be working with some laurel picks today. I just love the way these look against the flocking. Good, thank you. Isn't that pretty? So I have some of those. I have some extra. I will be putting them in my Etsy store. I have to go back and find the invoice first. But we're going to be putting a few of these around. Thank you, Jean. And I'm going to only use four because, no, five, because I'm going to put the bow here. And I think I'm just going to do a red bow. I'm going to stick some red balls in here. And we're just going to do a big old red bow. And that's it. I could. I saw this the other day, which I thought was really sharp. A lantern right there. But I got to mess around with the base a little to get it to sit the way I want it. So we'll do that next time. So basically, we're just going to be working with these laurel leaves and some red balls. And then a big old red bow up top here. That's the plan. Y'all having a good day? Compared to yesterday? Okay. I think I'm just going to put a little spot of glue here. And I know I plugged it in. Doesn't even feel warm. That's because it's not plugged in all the way. I'm struggling with the bow. Like, I don't know. I, I think red is going to make it just right. <gasps> oh, no. You were sick. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Jean. My grandson got my oldest of the two boys that were born this year. He got sick yesterday. So. Just waiting for the glue gun. I did post all the new signs from yesterday, so if you didn't see those are on my Etsy shop, I still have to post the little bears. He'd look kind of cute in there. Look at him. He'd show up real good in there. So I have to do those. And I have to change the amount on the snow owl now that we have enough in stock. So again, I'm just going to twist this around and put a little spot of glue there. And I'm just going to twist a little bit of the pine around it. 
I'm just trimming off some. Oh good, I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, I, I just happened to pop on yesterday for a little while and I didn't see you on and I thought, uh-oh. And I hit a thousand on my YouTube channel. Thank you, everybody. So I got to set up a contest. I got to give away some signs. Doesn't that look pretty against this? Ooh. But it's not overpowering. It's just a simple little variation of color here. But I just think that looks so elegant. Don't you? Thank you. And I'm like 40 some away from 3,000 followers on Facebook. So we're going to have to have two contests. I think that that's, would be good, don't you? Two for one. I know, right? Doesn't that just look awesome? I mean, it's it's just a neutral color. It just, for some reason, just kind of, when I put it up to it, I'm like, that really looks pretty. I've been looking at these leaves a while, and I thought, they're going to look pretty at Christmas. I know they will. Right, like I said, I'm only putting five around. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing, thanks, miss. That would really be appreciated. Because for some reason now, we can't share our own lives. So, I don't know. All right, let me see. We've got four, five of these, and three of those. Okay, so we're going to start out with these. I have two different shapes here. So I have more of these, so we're going to start off with these first. Uh oh, my bear is trying to leave. Now, this might be a little tricky. I'm going to snip a little bit of the flocking on the end. So I can get this, actually, these are those plastic ones. If you take your heat gun like this, your glue gun, you can make the hole bigger just from the heat of the glue gun. That'll make it big enough to push it down in there and really hold it in place. Isn't that look pretty? Ooh. <clears throat> now maybe I better dry fit these first before I see if I like them where I'm putting them. One here and then one there. Yeah, I think I like that aspect of it. Nope, I can't share it. I've been relying on people to share for me. It's very annoying. That's why I tried uh, YouTube the other night. Because at least with that, I can talk to everybody at the same time it's running, answer questions, and then share. I realize they have to change things up, but I just got it working. <laughs> I hate when they mess with it. Thank you, Jean. I appreciate it. These are one of those barrels from Sam's Club that has all the balls in it. 
really reasonable that way. See, and I'm just making the hole bigger. So, let's trim off some flocking. I went and donated my wreath to the Breast Health Center. They loved it. I had to make another one because I had a customer who loved it so much too. She wanted one for her friend that's going through chemo and all that right now. But I tried to talk them into getting rid of the one that's in the office there that really looked awful, but I guess somebody made it for them and they had to leave it up, which I get it. But I, you just wanted to grab a hold of it and start refluffing the bow because the bow looked the worst of all. I didn't even match it really. It was like a, a tan color and the wreath base itself was like a white color and oh, it was bad. And two Christmas balls, pink Christmas balls on it that were faded out already. So it's been up a long time. But they loved it. So hopefully it'll brighten somebody's day. I think that would be awesome to make somebody feel good. Hi, Jeanette. Where in East Texas are you watching from? Let's see, what's in, are you near Fort Worth or Houston? I was down there in the late 70s, early 80s, I lived in Texas. This is your first time watching? even if I wanted I could put the bow at the top I could put it on the side um, any which way well, okay east of Fort Worth okay my uh, breeder lives down in um, Texas, Montgomery, Texas. She's closer. I'm not sure where that is. I'll have to look that up. But welcome. We're glad you could join us. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, welcome back. I lived in Abilene, no, Sweetwater, um, El Campo, Wharton, all down there. We moved around. This look elegant with these leaves. I love them. Just nice and simple. I 
did bring some lanterns in too. If we run out of time, we can make a lantern too. If we have extra time, I mean. And thank you for sharing. Okay, that's it for the big balls. I do have some little ones that I thought we could scatter in here too. off a bit of this to get these down on there. Just heating it a little bit to get the hole bigger. here, a bigger one here, and then a little one up there. And like I said in the beginning, I was impressed on how well this flocking is holding up on here. It's not flaking everywhere. off. Oh, no. Get back on there. There we go. And let's put one up here. One, two. Here's what we have so far. There was another ball. I thought there was. All right. Now, we need to decide on A four inch? Nope, don't like that. I don't like the color. I kind of like this one. I think that kind of goes well with the balls because you had this little like um, diamond design in these. So, which wait a minute, why did one fall off? I thought I had three in here. Well, I did have three. Okay, we're going to put one right here. I did have a third one of those to put in. Whew. I'm going to put it right here. Thank you, Missy. See, and it's not, not overload. It's just fancy. Sparkly and fancy. There. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we're just going to use this. See, this makes it look too... No. Just this one. We haven't thought about using that with it, but that just cheapens it, I think. This is just simple. Simple and neat. All right. Let's go ahead here. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Glad to see you. Okay. And then depending on how we turn this wreath, we'll see where our bow ends up. <laughs> it ends up at the top, the side, whatever. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It just needs this pop of red. So this is Sam's Club ribbon. My grandson has learned how to clap. It was so adorable. I've been teaching him, but he just figured it out. So every time I would clap, he would clap. It was so cute. That's okay, Vicki, welcome. You can always watch the replay. We just put some laurel. That's what they're called, right? Laurel? No. Oh. I clicked. I forgot the name of them. Yep. No, they're laurel. They're like a metallic. Aren't they pretty? Now what did that have? let go of it he is going to be eight months no. let me see maybe it's going to be eight months it was born the end of February <laughs> it was supposed to be leap year but he came early. So cute. And he says Nana, so he was saying na 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 na. Uh, they just brighten your day, don't they? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do nine. I can hold nine in my hand. Oh yeah, we got it. He was born in February, that's Gordon, and Nolan was born in June. I have other grandchildren, but these guys are local. And my boys became fathers for the first time this year. I know, right? That is my favorite part. When they're little. He didn't feel good yesterday. He was, he got sick. So... But he seems to be doing pretty good now. He's a strong little guy. It's the quiet type. He just takes things in and then when nobody's there, then he starts. Because <laughs> his dad will send me pictures after I leave. But he's getting better. 
Last time I went to visit him, he put his arms out for me to pick him up. Okay. Thank you, Susan. All right. Oh, man. Look at this. How much of a punch of color it gives it. Okay. We're going to just cover up that zip tie in the middle. You know how I fold my ribbon and then just tie it around. Well, you know. Hi, Fanna. How are you? If you wouldn't mind hitting the share button, I'd really appreciate it, everyone. We'll have the ribbon down the side. I don't know. Let's just put it on there and then see what we want to do with it. Thank you, Thana. Are you all almost ready for all these political commercials to stop? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> we started watching other channels that doesn't that there is no advertising on because overload. We live in Pennsylvania and the race is really heated up here. Yeah, I think it looks good just with this bow. I think I want it down here a little more. There. There we go. <laughs> I can't either, Missy. I am so sick of listening to them. I, uh, I sent in my ballot so I can vote by mail. So I don't have to stand in line. I think I want to move this down a little. Oh, don't you? Oh, they just, they just, you can be in such a horrible mood and not feel good at all. And just one look at them and you just melt. And it's just like so worth it. They are just so innocent and so sweet and yes, I'm so tired of politics. I think everybody's just tired of everything. This has just been such a, a draining year, you know, but you know what? getting on here and just talking with you guys weekly and finding out more information about you and sharing with you and learning about your families. It just kind of makes everything go away. Aw, we have six. We have um, our oldest grandson is 14 and we only get to see him usually at Christmas time. And then we have my granddaughter who's six. She plays the piano. She's very good. Then we have the twins who just turned three. And then we have Gordon and Nolan who are the babies this year. So my plate is overflowing with blessings. I already did all the Christmas shopping. Um, if you haven't, start your Christmas shopping. Online shopping is going to be extremely difficult this year because a lot of people are going to be doing it. So 
you're not going to get your stuff on time. Things are already getting lost. So take the time, get it together now. I've already started making the gifts for the kids, but all the grandchildren's presents are finished. They just aren't wrapped. So I made up my mind. Get it while the shipping is good and you have plenty of time for it to come in. Okay. Now, I don't know if this needs anything. I could put some berries in there. Let's see. But I don't know that it needs any. I don't like these. They're bright. Well, we might want to go with shiny. Now, I think just leaving it the way it is, or, let me see, one more thing. I don't know, I kind of, I just think it looks good simple. Two granddaughters, three grandsons, and one great-granddaughter. Wow. That's awesome. I could... I could kind of... I think that makes it look too overwhelming, doesn't it? With the... I don't like that. I think I kind of like it just the way it is, just simple and plain. What do you think? Screams kind of elegant, just the way it is. Doesn't need any of this. Some of this is close to the color in the leaves. You think it is? Let me just see if we added just a sprig of that. What do you think of that? Thank you, Helen. Because this is kind of the color of the leaf. Do you think that's too much? Or do you like it without? What's your thoughts? with or without what you thinking what do you think miss with or without Helen says without hi nanny dot what do you think maybe a little bit of it all right, so what if we just put that in three spots on top of the leaf? Ooh, what happened to that one? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, what does it look like with that? Nanny Dot says maybe a little. Hey, Kayla. We're trying to decide with this or without it. That looks good, just with the three. I think so too. Just gives it another little pop. Yes, you can, but it kind of ties it in. It's just kind of real um, faint in color. Like it kind of matches the laurel 
so it just kind of lends itself just a little bit of glitter. Just like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, nice and simple. How do I pronounce that? Serena? Sirena? I'm really butchering it, and I'm really, really sorry. I am so terrible with names. Asthana. Took me a while till I got her name. <laughs> and what a beautiful name it is. Okay, we'll just do three of these. This is just nice and simple. And this one, I'm going to cut right there. There we go. All right, and then we'll leave that kind of to the side. So how are we looking now? No problem, Sue. That's what I'll do. Okay, with these, I won't put a whole one in there. I'm just going to lay one in there, just over the stem. So you got a big spray here, but then here you just have one spray, little piece. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. What do you, what do you think? I don't know. I thought about that, but you know what? The lantern is kind of like more farmhouse, more rustic, where this is more elegant. So... I'm thinking probably not. I'm going to save this because I know what I want to do with this, but I didn't have all the components to complete it because I actually wanted this to hang in the middle and I wanted to do rustic balls on one side and berries on the other. I actually saw it on Facebook in an ad and I'm like, I am loving that. So... I think that's what I'm going to do. So I think we're going to leave this just the way it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That is just, let me clean this up. And then I think we have some time. We can do a lantern swag. What do you think? We'll do two projects today. And get that off my plate. Or I could finish the Christmas wreath I'm making for the family. Thank you, Sue. All right. Let's just play with the lantern. Now, this lantern came from Walmart. It was $6.98. I love the red, and I love the Christmas tree. I really love that design. This one was $4.98. When you go there and you find one you like, really, really inspect it. Um, they only have little tabs in here holding the glass in place. And some of the glass was dislodged. So I really had to repair it. And you have to be really careful when you shut the door on it. So... Maybe I'll do this one and then do this one and I can put them together in a little arrangement. But this is the pine I'm going to use. Wee, look cute sit on top. <laughs> I love my bear. I know, right? I didn't think that was bad. And I like them because I felt they were more decorative than the black ones and, and such. 
So I really like that. So I'm gonna bend that and then cut. Boom. Bend that and cut. Now gotta figure out. Yeah, I thought they were nice. They had red ones. They had bigger ones. The bigger ones, I think, were eleven ninety eight, but they were pretty much black, where it just had a, a line down the middle here. Just made it look like a window pane. I I really thought the red ones were different. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna mount these. Okay, I think I know. Let me try it. We got some holes here that we can, some stars that we can go through. Did you all see the balls, the leopard balls that Missy made yesterday? Oh man, you gotta go watch them. She did an awesome job. I love those, Missy. They were beautiful. Try and incorporate this in here. Come on. Shouldn't have tightened it so much. There. Oh, that'll be good. Might have to swap a snowman for some of those balls. Let me see. There we go. And then we'll zip tie it to this one. I knew you'd like that idea. <laughs> I love that idea. Because I'm like, I really love those, but I don't think I want to make them. Okay, I think now I'm going to zip tie it to that. So I got it zip tied through here, zip tied together, and now this one I'm going to zip, because I want it to kind of, Go on an angle. <laughs> if I ever find the fabric, I'm still looking for a darn manger. I've got one of those manger wreaths I have to make. You know, with the, like the burlap on the bottom and then the uh, lights in the blue part on the top. So yeah. my bow is going to hide all this so you're not even going to see that so let's just pull some of this apart and straighten it up and turn it around and fluff it out this up higher so I'm gonna redo it I need it up higher that's not high enough now I'm gonna take this one off I want that more there 
from where it was. Okay. No problem. They do? Oh, Dawn, I'm going to have to go look. I went all the way up there to donate that wreath, and then I realized I had an Amazon return that I was supposed to drop off at UPS, and UPS is in town, and that's where I was, and failed to take it with me, and so now I'm probably going to have to go back tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. And yes, I got your message. The little guys are doing good. I will have to take a picture. Just been busy out running errands, visiting the grandson. Wednesday, that's my day to do stuff like that. And I didn't even get to my thrifty difty store today. And I always go there on Wednesday. Because it's senior day. <laughs> I considered a senior. So, senior day, you get 20% off. There, that's better. I don't want the real big ones. Thank you, Dawn. I will. I will go check there because she really wants that wreath and I told her I'm still trying to find a manger. Really? Okay, does anybody know where, it, where the Star of Bethlehem can be found? There. And then I'll zip tie these two together. There, that's got a better slant to it. Because the picture she showed me has that in it, so I think she wants that too. It's a shame. I have a manger sign, and I thought, you know, there must be a way I can take that sign and just add a wooden roof to it. All right, there's what we got so far. Now, what ribbon should we use? Well, I'm just looking at what I have. I kind of like the white with green. That's really pretty. Um, you know me and my rustic too. I really kind of like this. Maybe ditch this. What do you think of that? Just kind of looking at what I have. I'll just pull out and we will go from there. There's this too. That would look good with this. There's this. There's that too. What if we took this and these also. Or, because I thought I could even add this if I wanted to. You found the star at, at Dollar Tree, right? No, I don't think I want this red. No, 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 no. I don't know. What do you think about just that? Just, yes. 
to this. I think that's really cool. Then we have some, let's see, I know I have some of that holly and leaves we could add to it too. All right, let's try that. I'm going to do about a 14 inch tail. I knew that was going to happen. Oh well. Just a little bit smaller. So a five inch. Match, yes. Well, I'll have to go back into town. Just gotta go back to the UPS store. So might as well hit Dollar Tree and Dollar General. Did you all see Dawn's mouse wreath that she made? Oh, we got seven. I think we're good with seven. It turned out so cute with the sign I made for her. Now, Dawn, you've already made the ma the manger wreath because I know people use the um, burlap on the bottom as pull through method. So, if you're using the pull through method on the bottom, what method do you use when doing the blue top? The blue sky. Because the mesh I have, the burlap mesh is six inches. And everybody said use the pull through method on the top. Well, if I use the pull through method on the top, that mesh is 10 inches, so I would think it would make it look uneven. Am I right or wrong? What method did you use? making sure that the door is in the front. You ruffled yours, okay. And did you use the same size mesh on the top and the bottom? Yikes, I got to tie this around. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. liking the um, green and red um, combinations like I did my I don't know if any of you saw this yesterday 
I used burlap on the bottom, burlap ribbon, and then I used this green and red ribbon, and then just went with the simple green and red. Okay, so then I need to get 10 inch and 10 inch, and that would make it look right. Okay, thank you. That's probably why it was confusing me. Oh, thank you. Now I'm going to curl it. But I'm not done. I think it needs some berries. And not these. That would work, but I'm thinking just these placed in various places. All right. And make sure when you're doing yours that your uh, door is in the front because you can put uh, a candle in there. See, I like the other ones better. These are shiny. I, I know that that's glitter. Um, that's glitter too. I like these better. These are the um, the only kind that I'll use. I don't like the styrofoam ones. I like the hard ones. And these are hard. We'll just scatter these throughout. I'll do two on this side and then I'll do three on the other side. Okay, and use the bubble. Oh, okay. So bubble on the bottom. I appreciate all the advice because I've never made one and when she said can you make this I'm like yeah because like, I can't wait to try it <laughs> now what I'm gonna do because I'm seeing some of it on the back see how the back is showing the handle still and such I want to cover that up so, not sure. Yeah. So with this, I'm going to trim off the pine cone and the price. Don't like that. But I like this. So we're going to trim these. Okay. 
And see, I'm going to glue that right to the back. And if you see, that's going to cover that directly over. So we're going to trim this because we don't need that. And then we're going to glue this right to that. So see, it's going to hide all that. And I like it. There we go. Whoop. If I wanted to, in order to cover that even more, look, I can glue that pine cone to the back too. So then it can be placed as a centerpiece. Oh, that's a lot of glue. But there you go, it's two-sided now. Ah, sure can, Dawn. Just put a pick on the back to cover it up. All the mechanisms on the back, or you know. Now we're going to glue in our berries. better. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so you can really get a good look at it. See, we could have even used stuff like this, you know, with just greenery and then this. Thank you, Monica. That's just two. I'll just use this as an example. That's just two fern picks together on an angle. If you watch the replay, it'll be under videos. And you'll be able to see it. We added the one to the back to cover up where the um, bow was tied and so on. So that's why all this stuff is back here. So when you have it sitting as an arrangement, it's viewed from both sides. I could even... Um, I did have some of this left. I could even put a sprig or two of that in the back here too. Why not? Let's use the whole piece. So 
so it can be viewed from both sides. Very, it's really not that hard. It's just a matter of leaving yourself enough space, okay, between, um, in the middle, so you can actually attach a ribbon to it. And like I said, this, this was from Walmart. This was $11.98. The smaller one was $4.98 but you have to really check your glass because sometimes the tabs on the inside causes the glass to lean towards the middle. And sometimes you really don't have enough fingers space in there to, to work on it. So yeah, it's just a matter of the two pieces put together, attached somehow to the top, and then your bigger bow in the middle, and then just filling in some additional pieces and covering up your mechanism in the back, your mechanics. Okay, so we did this one. I didn't, I didn't like that, so he didn't go on there. And then we did this one. white I can get one out that I did last year if you'd like to see that one it's only in the next room so if you'd like to see that I can grab that and bring it in This was by far my favorite design ever. Now what I did with this, let me just move this a little bit here. This is actually a vintage candlestick holder. Okay? And what I did with this is on the top of the base, I put um, some styrofoam. All right. Then I attached this hat, which I painted and I wrapped with ribbon. And then all I did was push everything down inside there and added additional bows. And what I did was this was actually on my table last year. So I had all this greenery down in here, and I had a cardinal down in here, and then I took a candlestick and I covered it with wired ribbon to match the hat. So that was my, my masterpiece last year. And I thought I had a, I thought I had um, one of these sitting up in here somewhere too. <laughs> But it's not there. I did not have the heart to put this away because I really worked on this one and I love the ribbon. Thank you. And it, I'm almost embarrassed to say I only paid a dollar for the candlestick holder. See, I, I always watch this one place and see you can kind of see it underneath can you see the styrofoam I just mounted the styrofoam to the top of the candlestick and then I used this and just twisted it around the bottom and this is actually a frame that I added um, a wood base to 
and covered it with contact paper. And this sat in the middle of my table last year. Is that not gorgeous? And it was just a matter of taking what I had, which was gold and red, and just pushing it in there and putting this on a slant and covering it with two types of ribbon. That was my, my centerpiece last year. And I, I have it sitting on top of my hutch. I could not part with it. Um, I could not put it down. I couldn't pack it away. There are some things I just love to look at daily, and this was one of them. And like I said, this was only a dollar, and I think 20% off. And these are old beads. They were just mounted on the, um, the metal rod that goes up through the middle. And I have these little bird's nests, so I put them in there. And it was, it looks so hard, but it's not. Because like I said, this is mounted on a slant, which made this styrofoam all accessible for just pushing things in and kind of pulling it downward. I think I did this in my group last year, so I'm not even sure if I still have the video. I will look to see if I uploaded the video to YouTube and if I didn't, um, I still have more hats. So let me, let me look for another candlestick and I can show you how to do one. They're really not hard at all. If you can stick things into the end of styrofoam, <laughs> you can do this. And it's just a matter of waiting it you know, this has to be this way, and this has to be this way, so everything just balances. You've got to have a nice, wide um, base to it to balance it. If it balances, you're, you're pretty good. If you get a real skinny one, it's not going to work. So, but yes, I would love to see pictures of your lanterns. Very, it's pretty much like I said, this is pretty much oh, on the same level as this, but with this, we didn't use styrofoam. You could stick styrofoam in the top if you wanted, um, but this is much easier. Just use your handle and your holes in the top to zip tie your two components together, and then it's just a matter of adding your bow in the middle, just leave enough space for your bow and you want your bow to cover the space. So there you go. And I'm, I'm still going to do something with this one because I still want to do this in a wreath. I think that would look awesome in one of these snowflake wreaths with a candle in it on the door, wouldn't it? I just have to get myself a little base to mount it in there. So there you go. Get started. Send me pictures. I love your pictures. And uh, the bear will be posted on Etsy and I'll also be posting some of these pics on Etsy in the next day or two. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. You can't find a ribbon? Contact me. I have plenty of ribbon, and I sell it by the yard. So, all right. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day. I may pop in tomorrow. I don't know. If you've hit that little button to be notified when I go live, you'll know. And we got to have a contest now that we hit 1,000 on YouTube, and we're almost ready to hit 3,000 on Facebook. So we got to have a big giveaway for that. All right, have a great evening, and thank you. Bye-bye.